My name is Amber, I'm a librarian at the Spokane County Library District and we're going to make some mini origami star books. This is a less than mini one. You can see it hangs, we slide the bead up and when it opens, it's a star. And it can be a book because it's made of paper. If it's paper, it can be a book. So to do this, we're gonna start by making origami frogs. I have an eight by eight square and I'm going to fold it in half. And then in the same direction, fold it in half the other way so that the valleys match. When I turn it over so that I have the mountain side, I will then fold it diagonally corner to corner once. Opening it back up, I have the valley crease from corner to corner and the mountain crease in an X. Flipping it over, I pop in the middle so that it can meet basket style. And then from here, you just squeeze together and fold on the creases, making the origami frog. We're gonna do this five times. I've got my five frogs, which will be pages, and then I have four by four mat board cut up, which will be the cover, the front cover and the back cover. If you start with an eight by eight, you need a four by four. I've got ribbon, which will go on the inside, and I have one bead and glue. So when we glue these together, the top of the frog gets glued to the bottom of the next frog so that they're looking the same direction. And you want them to match up as well as you can. So that they'll open like that. And repeat. Once all five are attached together, the last thing to do is give it its covers. We're going to line these up like diamonds with a finger space between them and then center on our ribbon. Once I've got an idea of where it's going to go and where it should be, I do a line of glue. and lay it down. I'm just using a glue stick, which means it's very forgiving if I don't get it right that very first try. And then I'm going to repeat the frog process, putting glue on the cover and sitting a frog facing out like he's going to eat the string. Or I suppose it could be the long tongue of the frog. And repeat with the other side. Lining it up as much as I can. Giving a good push. And now we've got covers. Now to keep it closed, because of course folded paper wants to unfold, we're gonna string a bead, just a regular pony bead, over the two ribbons. And 
then to keep it together, simple double knot at the end. The one thing that you want to make sure though when you're doing your ribbon is that your ribbon is long enough that it's going to be able to fit the book through because when we open it, it has to fit through right there. And then to keep it open, we slide the bead down. At this point, decorating either the inside or the sides, you can do it beforehand, but this is the end product. It's an ornament, it's a book. If you have the time and desire, great party invitations, great Christmas cards, etc. To expand upon the origami book we already made with this same frog, on this one we glued them together facing the same direction. But if you glue them together facing opposite directions, instead of getting one that opens this way, it opens like an accordion. So same design, same cover on each side, but by just flipping them around instead of getting a star, we have a completely different book.